Welcome back to another video. This is the Phoebe Way. My name is Phoebe and I'm here to give you tips on how to legally migrate to Germany and have a residence permit. So this video is about the EU blue card. I did a video last year about the workers visa. This is actually, that was the German version of the EU blue card, but now I'm just focusing on the EU blue card because the EU Parliament in September has actually made it easier for high school professionals to migrate to the EU legally and way, way easier, all right? So it's smoother now in four points. So let me just tell you the things that have done to make it easier. So number one, earlier as that 2020 and 2021 too, you had to earn 1.5 times as much salary as the German um, counterparts in the same field. So if let's say the German counterpart was earning 50,000, you have to earn 1.5 of that. So that should be about 75,000 yearly, for example, okay? But now you only have to earn just as much as your German counterpart. And that is the minimum threshold that you have to make. So that has been made easier. If you are an asylum seeker in, a, in an EU state, it does not stop you anymore from applying for the EU blue card in another EU member state. So that has also been made easier. So if you're in different EU member states and you are somebody in the fields, I'll talk about the occupations or the professions in a bit, but if you are in one of those professions and you find a job in another country, you are eligible to apply for that job in the other EU member states, okay? The third thing that has been made easier is that you had to you had to have lived in the first member state that you arrived in for 18 months, one and a half years before you move to the next one, but now it is also just 12 months. That is something that is also can that, that is something that can be used to your advantage as well. And then the best thing is that before you had to present a work contract of at least one year duration before you can get the EU blue card, but now just six months work duration is fine or work contract duration is fine. So note these and I'm going to tell you, and now I'm going to tell you the other benefits of the EU blue card and then later I'm going to tell you what you should do to apply and then we go into the steps. So what you need, the steps to apply. So now I've told you about what has been made easier for you. One, you don't need a 12 year, a 12 month um, contract, six months is enough. Two, you can stay or you can move to another EU member state and apply there after one year and not more after 18 months as in one and a half years. Three, the minimum threshold is not 1.5 times the average income, but rather just as much. So one is to one. And four, um, asylum applicants or um, refugees in one EU member state are also eligible to apply in the next state, right? In, the, in, the, in a different state if they find a job there. So, what are the benefits of the EU member card, of the EU blue card, I mean, what are the benefits? So one of the benefits is that if you are a skilled, um, a highly skilled professional and you have um, a university degree that is recognizable in the EU state that you wish to apply to, and if you probably in Germany, if you um, studied in Germany and you find a job, you can actually apply for the EU blue card and then after that, after two years, you can then apply for the residence permit. Okay, that's the need and last month's allowedness. So that is like a shortcut. And so that's after 24 months, you are eligible to do that. That is one of the advantages. And you are actually entitled to all other things except like getting loan, um, loan grants and other things. But it definitely makes your life in Germany easier. And one thing about that is also, one good thing about the EU blue card is that you are also um, eligible to travel to other Schengen um, areas, being, um, let's say, the, the net, being the Netherlands or other EU member state countries and stay there for 90 days. So basically like for a tourist um, period of time um, for every 180 days. So let's say every six months you can stay there 90 days and then you come back. So similar to the Netherlands alone. So that is also another advantage that you should keep in mind. So I would definitely encourage you to do that. Another benefit is also that the person who is coming to work from the third uh, from the third country can also come with your spouse, with your children, with your family basically, 
and then you would be the sponsor of those people so you don't have to do the first get the visa then a family reunification but you can do it at once you get it so that is also another um advantage and now let's talk about what you need to apply so these are the requirements that you need to meet for the german blue card first you need to have studied in germany so you have a german university degree or you have a degree from outside germany that is recognized by germany you need to have a valid job offer and now not anymore a one-year contract but a six-month contract as we talked about earlier you need to have experience in that field and you also have to have that minimum salary threshold so now it is not just 1.5 times that salary but now it's just as much as just as the same as other germans get or what yeah other people contact parts in germany earn so that is the requirements that you need to meet for the blue card now you know what you need to apply let's talk about the steps this is just a um a a summary okay it's just an abstract summary of what how you should do it but i would advise that you look into your country's connections with the eu country that you want to go to and if you're already in germany please please contact your ausländer behörde and ask them what your options are because every case is different okay every every case is different so ask your house in the behörde what do you need to bring and it could even work for you because some people you would think some people are lucky but probably the job that they have is giving them more than maybe the, even the average and there are other things that in your case probably could just be waived so just please go to house in the behörde and ask what do i have to bring what can i do okay good now let's get into the application steps so now let's talk about the steps that you need to do for the applications first you need to have the job offer so the work contracts then you apply for the regular german employment visa you travel to germany then you register your address so you go to one murder and you go to the rat house you tell them i'm here this is my address they get your health insurance. It could be the statutory health insurance, as in the Gesetzliche Krankenversicherung, or you get the private one, the private Krankenversicherung. And then you can then apply for the German blue card. So these are the basic steps. And then, of course, if you're a student, you wouldn't have to go home and apply for the employment visa first, but rather right after your studies, if you find the job, you then apply for it within germany yeah and then after getting the job and meeting the requirements you then apply for the eu blue card so these are the basic steps i'm here to encourage you to migrate legally and to make things easier for you so if you're in another eu state and you are a nurse you are a doctor or you are in any of these um, professions that i'm listing here below or you want to do an outfit like the vocational training please please look into that before you come illegally and then have to apply for asylum okay so look for look into that and let me know if you have any questions i'm here to help you i'm also going to put some links in the description box below just check those links out redo your research if you still have questions with some translation thing let me know i'll help as much as i can and please take good care of yourselves see you same time next sunday cheers